What have we found here? Calling all mycelium resistance, meeting at HQ. Uh oh. <laughs> um, right. This is going to be our first official meeting of the mycelium resistance, I guess. So I don't know if I'm nervous or excited, but this could be interesting. Welcome, everyone, to the official mycelium resistance. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> <laughs> you were interrupted by, by some note blocks. I think. Uh, this is right on top of decked out, right? It is right it's on super top. Super secret it. location. Someone's Nobody in there. Super secret. <laughs> Very secret. Literally one block down, and you've got Don't decked out. It's right in. there. Don't fall in. So, oh. I mean, that, that brings me basically to why I'm having this meeting. You guys have all signed up. I am getting really interrupted by decked out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. A, lot of, a lot of stealth going on right now. <laughs> so you guys have all signed up, including XB, who is. He's with us. Hello, XB. Hi, Hello, XB. Hello. He's, 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 he, yeah, he's having a great time. This mycelium base isn't fit for purpose. Well, one, you can hear decked out all the time. Yeah. And two, it's not secret at all. Everyone knows the way mm -hmm. in. This was like a recruitment thing. So since we're all like a, a gang now, and we all know why we're here and what we're doing, then I think what we should do is take another location and make it our base and never show the entrance on camera that Smart. way we yes. can have a proper I mean, it's kind of funky room. down here too I, i'd prefer if we moved out to be honest yeah i mean it, it's yeah. never never going to be a permanent location but it means that the mayor and his particularly his enforcer can't can't find us because mm -hmm. they 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 think we're here they know they know everyone's seen my videos they know where the entrance we're is we're a little I, close to town hall right now i got caught leaving one day by cub fan so I i'm pretty sure cub watched me walk in here earlier so <laughs> like it's ultra compromised <laughs> cubs actually just below and play decked out oh, i can see them they're they're right by us Yep. <laughs> so we need to we need to find a new location for the mycelium resistance so that we can resist. Sounds good. Uh, what are we resisting exactly? Yeah, I, I was wondering that too, to be honest. Uh, um, you know, you guys, you know why we're here. We're oh, well, not really. Uh, of course, I'm we're, just... here, we're here. Oh, yeah, come, come, come <laughs> by the beast. Spoiler. Rip. So we we are here to send yeah. Scar a message. Right. Oh, okay. Message. Yes. Uh, yes. So send a message. Yeah. Send Scar a message. That's mycelia resistance. What, uh, what message is it exactly? Yeah. What, what is the, what's the, what is the message I, actually? It. Green. It, it, it's about the principle. It is about the oh. principle. Okay. It is oh, the right. Principle. Right. The, the principle. Sending oh. Scar a, a message. message. Ethan, write Resist. that. Are you writing that down? <laughs> Yes. Point. Oh, yeah. I got that. Okay. okay good. I, I don't have very good if memory. Any, I'm going to refer to that later. If about anyone questions why we're the, doing this, if Prince none, of, of if any of this ever at any point makes no sense at all, you tell them it's a matter of principle and it's about sending Scar a message. Oh, right. Okay. It, and we got to do this yeah. principle. It's about yeah. principle okay. and principle. sending Scar a message, and and that's Wait. what it's about. So is that three exclamation marks or five? I'd say five. Yeah, Definitely five. five. Definitely five. I, I, that's well, what I put more, down. The more they ask, the more exclamation marks. Because yeah. mm -hmm. at this okay. point, it is about the principle of the matter. It is it's about the principle. principle. It really is. If anyone's so, ever confused, it's about the principle. Yeah. Yes. Okay, let's Perfect. let's all go and find let's go and find a place for the new base that is nowhere near decked out. Well, while the resistance is looking for a new headquarters, I came back to the shopping district to search for some decked out boxes. Because once again, Tango put some boxes out and it looks like Wells Knight is frantically looking for another one. But uh, we'll hold on to this for later. Maybe we'll do a decked out run. I don't know. Maybe we won't. We'll see. But I have some other things I need to do here in the shopping district. You see, Tango and I, we started this road a couple episodes ago and... um. We didn't finish it. <laughs> nope, we didn't finish it. There's a lot to be done, and it'd be nice to get this over with because the competition is coming. I think they're going to start judging soon, so to have an unfinished road probably isn't going to bode well as far as the competition is concerned. But uh, we got some feedback from a lot of people in the comments who thought maybe it was just too much red, potentially. So I think I might try to use regular nether brick and see if that will help. Kind of break up the redness to it 
Then it might be too much brick pattern. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll sprinkle in some stairs and stuff to give it some texture. Ooh, or better yet, what if we drop it down to like a half slab and then this won't be so flat? Yeah, we might give that a go, but I'm going to put a bunch of this in place and we'll see if we like it. All right, so I replaced a whole stretch of road now and I'm able to take a step back and kind of decide, right? Look at the old design, has all that red on red and this one at least has a little bit of a color difference and I think this is the, probably the way to go. It, it is a lot cleaner and I think this one's just a little too bright, a little too much and I never really did feel good about sprinkling in the, the Nylium or whatever it's called. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and rip all this out that we've already done and replace it with these nether bricks. done at least the blocks have been placed but as you can see the beacons are not turning on because we still need to put the puffer fish and the redstone in place and that's a lot of work actually <laughs> we'll get there we'll get there but we need to do it soon like i said the competition is going to come to an end here soon and i wasn't really sure what to do when we reached this portion because false already had her path kind of cutting through here. So I just kind of joined up with hers and then used hers a little bit here and then started to uh, go back into to ours. And I think that works out okay. And let's go around here, just give an idea here. There it is, meets up again. A few spots here and there where other paths meet up. And then also I had to watch out for blocking store entrances. So usually there would have been a beacon like right here, but that would have been kind of right in front of Etho's ice shop. And I didn't think that'd be a good idea. And I think we still are good. Uh, maybe Corrales will want me to take this one out too, now that I look at that. But it's, I think this is a lot better. I think the uh, changing out that red definitely made a difference. And it is very bricky now, but okay, good. That's still working at least. Uh, they did get stuck on for a minute there. Uh, I had to come and just walk through one time to have them shut back off. And I asked Tango about that, and he said that actually happens in Decked Out as well, where uh, it seems like every once in a while, even though the puffer fish unpuffers, is that a word? <laughs> it wouldn't actually turn off. So it seems to be working now, though. That's good. But yeah, it'd be nice to get the rest in here and working and, you know, having all these beacons. I think that's what's really going to give us an advantage in this competition and hopefully will be enough to win because I'm counting on it. I'm counting on this road competition to win to get my diamonds back. All those diamonds that I bid on the auction, which, by the way, has now been calculated and we have won quite a few of the uh, the auction prizes here so it looks like a lot of people have already been in here to collect their things Beetho Beetho <laughs> Etho has has won the bamboo one I combined bamboo and Etho into one uh, it, I thought my the stick bid was gonna work but it, I guess not but we got a lot of good stuff and I have some shulker boxes so we are going to I guess we have to pay all these diamonds that we bid for these so I need to do I have an ender check I didn't even bring my diamonds I need to get my diamonds and we're gonna pay up and collect our goodies Back with my diamonds, time to pay up, and this one was four. Actually, ooh, we better be careful. Ah, oh, we're getting low on diamonds. I hope we have enough to pay. I think we'll be okay, though. But yeah, this is looking a little low. I'd like to have a few more stacks of diamond blocks, if you know what I mean. But all right, let's see here what we got. This one's only four diamonds, and that's not bad. We got some wood, which is always useful. 
A little bit of iron, which I don't really care too much about because I can usually get some from Tango. Some scaffolding, that's nice. And some sticks, we can make some armor stands for Disarmored if we need some extra armor stands in there. So for only four diamonds, I think that's not a bad deal. All right, let's leave two in our hand, put four in the barrel, and we are good to go. We'll collect the stuff. And uh, good thing I brought a lot of shulker boxes because looks like these uh, a lot of the winnings are just in regular chests. Oh, and I guess we get the chest itself, which is a bonus. So this one I paid seven diamonds for, and it's actually in a shulker box, but mainly because this is actually my stuff. <laughs> and I don't know, I just wanted my stuff back. So yeah, I've been, I've been on my own stuff. Oh, ooh, that was fancy. I didn't expect that. That didn't happen on the last one. Neat. <laughs> that was some fanfare to go with this purchase. Very nice. Cub, I think that was Cub probably set that up. How cool. And three diamonds for this one. More fanfare, excellent. And garbage. <laughs> this is garbage. Well, at least maybe I can sell some of these dyes in color complete and get some of my diamonds back. So not a total bust. Now, this is the one I'm super excited about. Auction 13. And I paid 64 diamonds for this. Well, now I've officially paid 64 diamonds. And yep, there's the more fanfare I was expecting. And we got five, I guess, chests uh, that we need to do, or five shulker boxes worth. But here's why I cared so much about this one. Look at how much mycelium is in here. And I knew not only could I use this mycelium, but this dirt to convert to mycelium with my mycelium farm. And how many more times can I say mycelium in a matter of a minute? We could uh, we could count that. I don't know. But there it is. We've got all this mycelium and I am going to take it back. And this is definitely going to help the resistance, which is exactly why I spent so many diamonds to get it. Job done. All debts are paid. I've collected all my items and I probably should sort them in my storage room, but uh, I don't think I'm going to do that just yet. I'll get to it because I got a whole backlog of sorting to do. And why didn't I fly there? That was weird. But I'm going to head back to my base, drop this stuff off, and we got stuff to do today. We need to get to it. Good news! The Mycelium Resistance has found a new secret headquarters, but, uh, and I want to go there right now because I think Green's already been working on it, getting it started anyway, uh, but I can't show you guys the entrance, so, um, we're just gonna have to enter through different means. Oh! <laughs> Green's in here! <laughs> I knew it! He's been working on this! How you doing, buddy? I, uh, you're, you're up to a lot? You've been digging. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very nice, mm -hmm. man. Uh, mm -hmm. Although the way in's a little weird. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, did you bite your tongue or something? No. You good? Um. I think I feel like you're trying to tell me something. Okay. Oh, this, this. You, mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. Words are. Okay, uh, the plan. Build the base, farm mycelium, spread the spores. Re remember, it's a matter of principle, right? Green, why can't, why can't you talk? Uh, uh, he's lost his mind. Green's completely lost his mind. Oh, oh. Okay, okay. Uh, you don't need to talk. Don't hurt yourself. But here, I got an idea. Mm -hmm. Farm mm -hmm. my ceiling. He keeps hitting farm my mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, okay. It's kind of like sign language, but not. I got this. He needs me to farm my ceiling. Your luck. I can do that. Look, I have shovels. I, someday I'll teach you how to do the shovel shuffle. It's fun. <laughs> okay, well, this is very awkward considering you're not using words, but I, I'm on top of it, boss. We're going to farm some mycelium and help spread the spores. I'm off. I got work to do. Mm -hmm. And it's just too <laughs> awkward to talk to you right now. Well, we've got some work to do. We've got a plan now, and part of the plan is to get as much mycelium as possible so that the resistance can be successful here. And we made a farm for that, but it does have a downside. The farm requires dirt in order to turn into mycelium, and I'm all out. I'm out of dirt. So I figured I'm going to do some digging, and then I had a big brain moment. What if instead of just digging up dirt, we find ourselves another Mushroom Island 
and just dig it up. And we'll get a ton of mycelium out of it by tearing this all down. And we can also collect some dirt underneath to use in our farm. And uh, it's kind of a bit of a two for one situation, isn't it? So, um, good thing I brought some shovels because uh, you know me, Shovel Boy is back. We're gonna be doing some digging. And I figured the best way to do this would be in the form of a time lapse. Well, I'd say I definitely came through with the farming of mycelium. We got a ton of mycelium from that 14 shulker boxes worth. And that means that uh, we can maybe start thinking about the next step. But I think we're going to need even more. So I'm going to continue harvesting between episodes. But as long as we, you know, as long as we make our point that it's a matter of principle and we can uh, we can get the job done as a resistance. And check this out. Uh, starting to add some stuff here. And I put all the boxes of mycelium back here. Oh, my goodness. So much much mycelium and we got ourselves a meeting table now look at that how cool is that but anyway i also have been collecting some decked out keys because i want to get another point today that is my goal for today i want to get another point in decked out and i need to do some runs and maybe make some trades to make that happen so i'm gonna head over there now and uh, hopefully we'll have some good runs today but before we do our runs, I wonder if we could do some wheeling and dealing with some other hermits and see if we can score ourselves a point and maybe free up some slots on our artifact board. Impulse, you ready to trade? I am. I am. It just so happens what? I have something that you uh, you desire. Yes? Yes, yes. We've been working out the details mm -hmm. and uh, I think we got a good trade going on here. So I got, I need the shiny unique to finish my set. Oh yeah, you have three of the four. Okay. Uh, just one way. Yep. And I saw you had it. Mm -hmm. I'm holding hostage. Yeah. Oh. So what do you <laughs> think about, I give you the ocean unique uh -huh. and the ocean common. Ooh, okay. So you, now two, you, two for mm, one. I like that. That, yeah. that is actually a really good deal for me <laughs> because then that gives me a chance to actually build out the ocean set, which, uh, that works, man. That yeah, works. Okay. You have so, one already, right? The yeah, uncommon. I got the uncommon. So part, partly there. And uh, as you notice, I only have one extra spot. So that's going to fill the board again. Oh, perfect. All right. Look at that. There you go. I, ne I never know if it's okay to throw stuff on the ground around here. <laughs> I feel like it's just going to get sucked, sucked up by yeah. hoppers. Yeah. And yeah. You'll never see it There's again. so many hoppers in the ground in this game. Oh, well, hey, there we go, man. Good luck. I mean, awesome. that's that's it for you, right? You you got a full set now. You're gonna. Oh, I just gave you the lead. I literally uh, just gave yeah. you the lead. No, it was a no. five way I think, tie. Uh, I think Cub is at two. Did he? I just saw it. I think he oh, gained one. Yeah. Oh. Okay. All right. I got to catch up though, but this is gonna get me there because I was nowhere close to getting that other shiny. So, all right, we're we're good, man. We're good. That's a good deal. I think for both awesome. of us. Awesome. Thanks, man. You bet. Mr. Beef of the variety of vintage kind. How are you doing? That, that's what they called me. My that's, mom calls me that. Yep. My dad calls me that. Everybody <laughs> calls me that. I've always heard that consistently. Mm -hmm. um, I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing great, man. And I think if we can strike a deal today, I'm going to be doing even better. And I think you will, too, because I've come up with an idea that's going to okay. be mutually beneficial for both of us. You see, that deals are good, right? Have you yeah, had, yeah, yeah. Well, I've, I, here's the thing: the last two deals I've done uh, are have been have been mostly beneficial to the other people. But Ooh. hey, I'm up for a mutually beneficial okay. deal. So. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the table then today because I I really do think I have a deal that's gonna benefit you even more than me, and okay. I'm okay with it because I'm gonna get a point out of it, and so it makes okay. sense. You may notice I have this ocean set unique and uncommon uh -huh. and common. I'm one artifact away. And uh, you happen to have it, my friend. <laughs> I sure do. Yeah, you um, have the, uh, what is it, the, the sponge. The sponge? It's the rare. Oh, correct. Yes, just... it is the ocean set. <laughs> Kinetic energy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you, my friend, you want this. I do want ocean that. Ocean set rare. Okay, and in return for that, you are offering? A rare. 
But wait, there's more. <laughs> Ooh, I like the gotcha. sound of that. Gotcha. I noticed you were working on a witch set. I think you had the yeah. common. I have yes. a witch set rare and a witch set uncommon. I'd be wanting to trade both of those for just that one. What do you think? Dude, that that sounds like an, a fantastic... I mean, I still won't have a full set, but I'll be... I don't have three of anything right now. I have right. two of a lot of stuff. That'll get so, you three-fourths of the way there, if I can oh, do math correctly. Yes, is, I is think your math is correct. Okay, there we go. So two, oh, this, for, yes. two for one deal, basically. I mean, a rare I'll, for a rare plus a little let's bonus. Let's do it. Right? That's fantastic. I'll take it. Oh, Which set uncommon? And oh you know what gosh. I get to do now? Uh, now I get to like here. This is what I, this oh. is this is going to work out real well. So now I'm going to put this witch set. I'm going to take the ocean set here, um, common because I have two of them. Mm -hmm. I'm going to abandon the ocean set, okay? Yeah. And I'm going to trade both of these in for either a, a coin or a or a, a random token. I think that's you how do it that works. right now. I'm going to do that right now. I can cheer you on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Artifact trade and give any artifact to receive one coin or a chance of dungeon key. Yeah, that's what I want. Okay, okay so I'm here for I'm good luck. Play. You're definitely getting a one. key today. Come on now. Come on. Be a key. There uh, you go. Oh, oh, look at that. First I got try. a key. First try. That is awesome. Let's do another one. If you get two, I'm going to be shocked. I know. So will I. Uh, it's a coin. Oh, All a right. coin. Okay. It's a, that's okay. So good, man. You I got, got a key. key out of it. I was not expecting that. Uh -huh. Thank you, you so much welcome. for this I, trade, man. Was, this I told you it'd be a good day for you. It is a good day. It's gonna be a good day for me too because I need the point. Look at look at these look at these people going hard at this game. Cub fan. Ethel. Yeah, I know. Oh, and I was responsible for the top two getting an additional point. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Well, you, you're I'm starting sorry. to help even the balance, I guess, since I get a turn. Well, in there the... you go. Okay. I'm doing my part. <laughs> Well, thanks, man. And uh, now that you got a key, good luck with the run. And uh, oh, I know like I, I'll need it. We gotta check that yeah, out I know, too. I know. It's, a, it's a rare, is it? I think it's a rare. Oh, yeah. Okay. Any right. rare. <laughs> well, thanks for the deal, dude. I am gonna oh. turn in my stuff right now and get this point. This is fantastic. We've got ourselves a full set, the ocean set, and we can turn it in right now and we'll put our second points on the board. That's awesome. So we need to put that light on, let Tango know. Oh, I guess it sucks it out if you do that. Okay, so there we go. We've turned in our set. Now we have one, two, three, four, five empty slots on our board. And I also have been gathering some keys. There we go. I got five keys ready to go. And I've also found this box, which another key in it and some more coins, but it's got this decked out Ravager tag. This is something new, something special. And uh, I think this lectern right here, this book on the lectern anyway, is gonna tell us exactly what's going on here. So now we can make the Ravagers inside of decked out our very own pet. And the best part about this is if we name it and it kills somebody, we actually will be receiving a free dungeon key for each time our Ravager kills somebody inside of Decked Out. So Tango's going to be watching for that, and hopefully we can name a Ravager without getting killed ourselves. That's probably going to be the trickiest part. So we need to name that tag our name Beast, right? So Impulse is Beast, and I will do that now. Looks like he even thought of everything. There's an anvil right there. So let's go ahead and name this name tag. Impulse's Beast, perfect. And we will take this in on our next decked out run and we'll see what happens. I mean, hopefully we can slap it on a Ravager and I guess it doesn't even matter if the Ravager's already been renamed to another Hermit. We'll just take over that Ravager. But I think the first Ravager I come across, I'm gonna go ahead and try to name it. All right, got the name tag, got the compass and in we go. <laughs> and there you go, okay, here we go. <laughs> Okay, okay. Compass is pointing straight ahead. Let's follow it. Oh, oh, I hear you. I hear you. Let's keep our eyes open for the Ravager. I mean, I'm mainly just looking to tag a Ravager. I don't even know how much I care about the loot at this point, but we'll try it. We'll try to do both, of course. And a lot of times there's Ravagers in here. We're actually going like the wrong way, according to the compass. I feel like I'm hearing <laughs> There's a drone with a book. <laughs> like, I wonder if we kill this guy if we get a book out of the deal. What's... Is this... Should we should we try to kill this guy and get a book? Like, whose book is that? Oh, there's a Ravager right there. Okay. Can we tag him? Nope. Tag him! Got him! Got him! 
Yes! <laughs> we slain the beast. We got slain by Impulse's beast. Well, that means we named him before he killed us. And he's in a prime spot. That is definitely going to get people. Oh my goodness. That was worth it. That was so worth it, I think. So we are going to come back in. My compass is going to despawn on the ground there. <laughs> that is great. And now we know where we, he is for the next run. And of course, we get a book out of the deal. So, you know, all wasn't completely lost there. Uh, what do we want, though? Be Sense 1, Be Sense 1, or Soul Seeker. I really like the Soul Seeker one. I want to start really trying to amp up the soul seeking of the adventure here and trying to get a lot of coins and then using those to buy things or to get into the auction stuff because the auction stuff is really good here. They have wild cards. So this could basically be any rare I want. And so we would need to win the daily auction in order to get that. And I just don't feel like I have enough coins at this point to do that. And hopefully Soul Seeker will help us out there. I just realized I was totally confused at how this trade-in worked. I thought what I would do is give two tier one cards and get the tier two card for it, but it's actually give three tier one cards and you receive a random tier two card. And I think I need to do that though, because we have seven cards and the game can only accept the first five. So I need to now decide what I want to do here. I have Beast Sense 2, Stealth 2, and Resistance 3. I definitely want to keep those, but I think I'm going to pick three of these and turn them in and so I have two soul seeker ones so let's do this this way if we don't get what we want we at least still have a soul seeker so let's see I think we put in the three cards here and we press the button and hopefully we get a decent tier two card oh I guess we got to press the button three times let's do that Okay, got a day. Oh, the card came into my pocket. Oh, we got another resistance too. We are very decked out. <laughs> Get it? With resistance. We got a resistance two and a three. That, the resistance is going to be going off the whole time there. But now not so much in the soul seeking or the loot category. So I'm definitely thinking at some point, I mean, maybe I could trade in a couple of these twos and try to get a tier three card. I think that's the next thing I could do. And it's the same thing, right? Give three tier two cards and receive a random three. I'm not sure I'm willing to do that. I want to keep a full deck for my next couple runs. I got five keys and we'll see what kind of cards we get out of those runs as well as some artifacts. So I think at this point, the doors are neat. I'm just waiting for the doors to close so I can go back in and we're going to do a bunch of runs. And when I get back, I'll show you what I got. Well, the first run didn't go so well. <laughs> I got killed by Joe's beast, so that's a free key for Joe, I guess. And now we get to go in again for a second run, and I still got three more keys after this. So I hopefully we'll become a master of this game by the time the day is over. Woo, this time I made it out and I got a poison set unique. Awesome. So good to see a unique inside the box, because that usually means I could... Hi. Um. <laughs> nice stash. <laughs> Corrales. Oh, hopefully this means I can build a poison set and get another point. Oh, definitely going to take it. Bonjour. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, Corrales. Looks like he's wearing his mankini as well. <laughs> That's great. Let's see. He might be waiting for a run. I don't want to hog the game. If he wants it, I'll step back and let him go because we still got three more keys ahead of us. All right, we're going to take a quick break. Let Corrales go in as soon as the doors are closed because uh, I have three keys. He could be waiting all day for me. Ooh, this is new. Drop your compass if you dare, but choose your tile carefully. Choose wisely and supreme treasures will be yours. Choose unwisely and you will immediately awaken the dungeon spirits. Three clues will be hidden in the dungeon that will guide you. Find them all. Okay, okay, okay. And interesting. Uh, okay, we'll keep our eye out. We'll see, but I'm kind of busy here. Still trying to do a run. Still trying to find out where this compass leads. I want some more artifacts. I need to build out these decks. All right, we got ourselves a loot box token, but I think I'm going to explore a little bit. Why is this book just empty? Uh, okay, we just generated some clanks, so maybe don't go too crazy, but I got to find something else. I can't just be grabbing the, the token and getting out. I think, oh, there's a Ravager there. I think we should, uh-oh. We're, whoa, we're going to have to run from this one. Oh, not into the parkour, not into the parkour. No, we're dead. We're dead. 
We're dead. Nope. And it was my own beast. No. And now I'm being made fun of. Well, we had a few good runs. We had a few not so good runs, but at the end of the day, we got a lot of good stuff. We got some more books. We've really started to build our deck here. Look, we got two stealth twos, so we can probably spend a lot more time in there without generating clank and stuff. So, and then we got some more that we could probably turn in to see if we could get another tiered book. Got a lot of coins out of the deal. I got another name tag, so I might attempt to name another Ravager in there because uh, the one I named, it got me a few times, actually. Also got a teleportation orb. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet. I'm going to hold on to this, but these things we can actually bring into the game and a splash potion of slowness, so if I'm getting chased by a Ravager, I could splash him. Uh, maybe I could combine this with the Ravager tag when I need to tag another one. Could be smart. I don't know, but uh, also building up the artifacts, and I got super lucky because... I've got the poison set unique, so I need to build up that, and I don't think I have any other poison stuff. So we're going to have to start looking for that. Also, got pretty good with the wither set going on here. I've got the first three, the common, the uncommon, and the rare. So I might want to look around and see if somebody has the wither set unique, and we may be, need to be making some more deals in the future. And <laughs> false symmetry, I think, just was able to grab a key from uh, the button over there. I saw her AFK in for a bit, so I think she got her hands on a key there but uh yeah I, even though i have one more key i think i'm gonna leave it at that today that is enough decked out oh i'm exhausted it is a uh, it is very heart pumping very stress inducing to be in that game and be you know able to get killed by a ravager at any moment as you can see from the look on corrales's face he looks pretty exhausted but uh, that's gonna do it for me today guys hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did hit that like button if you're not subscribed make sure you do that before you go and with that said we'll see you again next time have a good one everyone <laughs>